What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're here to talk about the treasure map which is going to be debuting August 13th 1900 PST time so mark it down in your calendars it's when it's going to be going live and it goes until August 17th. Now uh, for this particular treasure map uh, I will have all the free to play teams for you guys in this video today and of course when the treasure map goes live in terms of the the Sugo Fest I'll be doing my pulls. I'm only going to be doing a handful of multis and then after I do that I'll be building my own personal teams which i'll bring you guys a separate video for because i know some of you guys out there still like to see the teams that i like to build for myself um but before we get into that i want to talk about the brand new treasure map character which is shiryu so shiryu is an int driven slasher with a captain effect of boosting those two classes by 3.75 times and then reduces despair by two turns this is a very good free to play captain effect that honestly we'll see play if you're a newer player getting into the game this is going to be a great addition to your account for driven and slasher teams alike. Now, um, his special ability on a 12 turn cooldown is going to go ahead and reduce one enemy's health by 20% that bypasses all defensive effects. It also reduces attack down and paralysis by four turns, which is pretty good. It removes all poison and then boosts the color affinity of slasher and driven characters by two times for one turn. And then also reduces damage taken by 90% for one turn. It's a pretty good special, honestly. Like, this is, again, like, another special that we'll likely see play. Very, very good. Um, as for his crewmate abilities, he does make Psy and Driven characters Psy slots count as beneficial. And the other one is just a stat-boosting one. But still, pretty good crewmate effects. And you'll see that with, when you actually go ahead and expand him, he will actually get ship bind ability to reduce it by three turns at max level which is pretty good. Uh, and then he has a very good support effect attaching to any int character in the game. Once per quest, if you're inflicted with a poison or like a toxic, he'll go ahead and remove all, all, to, all types of poison and then heal your crew by 2000 health. It's, it's again, another good support. He attaches to any int character that can now remove poison for you. So that is fantastic that we have another ability to remove poison because there aren't that many good support effects that actually remove poison. There's like 20th anniversary Sanji and Evan those are the two ones that come to mind straight away and now we have another one that's a little bit more broad that attaches to lots and lots of units which is really really good so that's a brand new uh, Shiryu let's have a look at his PvP stuff actually int teammates speed level 5 crit level 5 okay and then special on 26 CT enemies in a medium range for 1.7 and then all enemies for attack down level 5 it, it's okay probably not going to see that much play but still you're mainly going to be using him in regular content but now that we've done all that let's go ahead over to the treasure map crew and have a look at the breakdown of each of these bosses and the free to play teams that I have for you guys for each of these bosses as well so of course we're starting things off with the first of these mini map bosses against Jesus Burgess so Jesus Burgess he is an int character normally, but in this quest, he's a strength unit, so you typically want to be bringing quick characters. You can see the recommended units are all those April Fool straw hats, so if you haven't got them done, well, they're, they're kind of nice because they're the 1.35 point booster, but uh, we're not running them for this particular team. You guys will see why in just a moment, but um, what you need to know is that the preemptive here, three turns of despair, three turns of bind to your right column, and three turns of paralysis to your left column. So the way that we're getting around that is we're running none of the recommended units you can definitely do that if you want to but this team just deals more damage even though this is the mini boss that has like hardly any health like only a hundred thousand at navigation level one but the only two key units in terms of utility is going to be the orobi here this orobi gets rid of the bind and the uh, paralysis for your crew and then you've got the lucy that can get rid of the despair but you know if you've got the uh the all the sockets maxed out you you won't need to worry about the bind or the despair you just need to worry about the paralysis so a robbie is going to be the most key unit there because you know it just just helps you out getting rid of a lot of those different debuffs if you need to but of course if you have all your sockets ready you just need a paralysis remover um you know smoothie oven are great because they can give you a higher chance of matching slots there are two times all booster you got color affinity with uh the magellan and hannibal you've also got the brook which gives you a conditional boost like it's definitely overkill nothing too crazy you know it is only the easy easy boss so you don't really need to worry about it too much but, you know, that's just the first boss for this particular treasure map. Moving on to the second free-to-play team, we've got Van Orger, who is an int character in this boss fight. And in his quest guide, um, you'll see that it mentions to uh, typically bring these recommended units of Vasco Shot, uh, San Juan Wolf, and also the Jesus Burgess. Um, those characters are good for this, but we're going to be using them a little bit later on because those three characters are all 1.35 point boosters. And because we're building more free-to-play teams, you probably want to use these guys for final bosses and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later. But what you have to know here is that you get a full 
full board of block orbs, four turns of special bind, and four turns of a 1.1 times chain lock, and they also have delay immunity. So getting around this particular stage, uh, one thing to note here is this uh, April Fool's uh, Straw Hat, the Nami slash Sanji character, because it has the ability to get rid of five turns of special bind and also giving us a full board of recovery slots. But of course, it doesn't get rid of block orbs, so we do need to use another character for that, which we do have for that in this crew. But it also gives us a chain boost, but this character actually switches into the captain position. Um, and this, captain, uh, uh, this character is a captain. When they switch into the captain spot, there are basically a, a four times booster to a character that is both fighter and free spirit so if you run a team that is full of as many f fighter and free spirits as possible it actually is a really really good team in terms of damage potential so we've got the ace character treasure map ace because he will enable us to get rid of those block orbs we've also got treasure map garb which is like a filler unit but he's actually pretty nice um vv is great because that's going to help us get rid of that chain debuff so we have a way to get rid of block orbs we have a way to get rid of chain and we have a way to um get rid of the special bind so the whole team honestly is looking relatively good right now um, definitely would be using another treasure map ace as a friend captain or, or, or another character with a higher point boost is what I would advise and then uh, Luffy is just another character that's another Psy unit that's free spirit and fighter because remember he is an int character so you typically want to be bringing as many Psy characters as you possibly can but again just a, another really basic free to play team to take on Van Orga so now the third boss is going to be against Avalo Pizarro and you can see that this guy is actually a quick boss this time around and with his quest guide the, the only two characters that are like extremely extremely important for this fight to get through it easy is going to be the treasure map luffy and ace as well as the raid marker that arrived relatively recently on global you'll see that with the uh behavior here in the uh, preemptive that you get given five turns of bind only to your crewmates so as long as your captain have a special that removes bind that's going to be good or if you have a support effect of course uh also five turns of burn which the marker gets rid of and then you've got five turns of despair which again luffy and ace get rid of so luffy and ace get rid of the bind and despair marker gets rid of the burn and then they have a delay immunity um with this team as well marker is an orb booster to free spirit whereas luffy and ace they are an attack booster to all characters but they give color affinity to uh, shooter and free spirit so you can have a team you know with all like free spirit characters and it's going to be really good especially if all of them are decks uh, for this particular particular team we've got kid as well he's a shooter character he'll still get the color affinity boost from luffy and ace but yeah just running a full dex team of shooters and free spirit is definitely going to be the best way forward just to easily take down avali pizarro okay so we're moving on to the last of the battle rush bosses versus uh vasco shot so with vasco shot he is a strength unit now for this particular quest they do suggest to bring onami if you have onami six plus definitely use onami as the captain to get through it very quickly as well as just having a lot of of damage output because remember when onami super evolves uh she gets access to the conditional boost not that well she already had the conditional boost but also the color affinity is a new addition to her special as well so you have a look at the, at the behavior she has oh well, vasco shot has delay immunity and defense down uh, immunity as well as 10 turns of an increased defense buff so ideally you have full hp when you reach the final boss stage you can just use onami special and it reduces his defense it gets rid of the defense immunity um and then you can just kill because you have a conditional boost and you'll have color affinity um it also suggests to bring this doflamingo but doflamingo is actually a really good call if you don't have him with this particular team you're ideally using double doflamingo this guy has a really good special that can actually remove five turns of defense up so if you have two doflamingos when you launch both specials it changes adjacent slots into matching as well as gets rid of the uh, increased defense completely on the enemy then you've got the kizuna king here as well to give us an attack boost to our quick characters and then treasure map smoke it gives an orb boost um to driven characters i believe yeah i think it's driven and fighter characters as well as a chain boost so this team is a bunch of driven characters um so it works out quite well um very very easy team to build for and we'll have absolutely no problem taking down vasco shot all right, so now we've finally made it to the final boss team versus Shiryu, of course. And there is an intrusion boss, which we will talk about in a moment. But speaking about Shiryu first, um, so you can see that uh, in his actual icon, he's a Psy unit. So the final boss is a Psy unit. However, there is a secondary boss on stage four that is an int character. So you do have to keep that in mind. And obviously, the suggested team is going to be bring all the rare recruit characters on the treasure map Sugo Fest, obviously, right? Um, but for the first stage, so stage four, um, you'll have to deal with block orbs 
Attacks, uh, Delay Immunity, and also Damage Threshold. So with this team, we can get rid of the Block Orbs with the Jesus Burgess Special, and the Damage Threshold can be removed with Vasco Shot Special, and that's going to be absolutely no problems against that. And then on the final stage, on Stage 5, you'll see that there is 5 turns of Special Bind inflicted to the top row, and there's also 5 turns of Bind inflicted to the top row of characters as well, and 4 turns of Rainbow Shield Percent Damage Reduction. So with this team, what we're going to be doing is, is we have this guy right here, the Queen, which will go ahead and remove the Rainbow Shield, as well as change adjacent slots into matching. We also have this Luffy character, which can get rid of the Bind on our Captains, which is obviously good. Um, but you've also got access to this guy right here, the San Juan Wolf, who will give our Driven and Powerhouse characters a 2 times orb boost. So either way, Luffy or San Juan Wolf will still give you an orb boost to your characters. And then ideally, what you want to be doing is, is using the brand new V3 Blackbeard as the friend captain for this quest, as he'll be special, he'll, he'll still be special binded, of course, um, but Luffy's going to unbind him, and you can use his switch effect to remove all special bind on himself, and then his special ability will give you a chain boost. So you'll have, uh, you have your orb boost, you'll have your chain boost, you'll have some decent matching slots there. So that team honestly shouldn't be too bad, plus you've got the ability of Blackbeard every time he enters a new stage, he cuts the enemy enemy's health by 10%, and of course, as you go through the treasure maps, that 10% health cut is going to equate to a lot more damage as time progresses, so that is honestly really, really good, or what you could do is you could wait a little bit longer, and you could potentially use Jesus Burgess a little bit later on to have another attack boost on that stage as well, or you could replace San Juan Wolf with another attack booster for your Driven or Powerhouse characters, just to give you a bit more damage output on the final stage. You could potentially put another support on for some additional you know, color affinity or something like like that like there's lots of options that you can go for this is just a very raw free-to-play team that you can kind of play around with and see what you like but this honestly shouldn't have any problems getting through at least earlier levels of the navigation levels of uh treasure map shiryu Okay, so now we move on to the final boss, which is going to be versus uh, Blackbeard. Now, obviously, this is not technically the final boss. This is the intrusion boss, which you're probably going to be taking on very first boss in the treasure map. So Blackbeard is the boss, and he is a Psy character. And once again, there is a mini boss on stage two that is an Int character. So again, they're suggesting run all the treasure map units as well as Moria this time around. So uh, the preemptive is you want to be bringing characters that are driven or powerhouse, because those are the only characters that will be received the 10 cooldown reduction at the start of the quest so ideally bring characters that are driven or powerhouse only and then you've got the battle 2 which is versus um, San Juan Wolf he's an int character and you can see five turns of attack down 10% health cut at the end of every turn to your crew and then also he has a good barrier you have to hit four goods before you break through his barrier it's just kind of annoying um, that that's actually there so you could potentially bring a barrier removing special ability if there is something like that um, it's not really fun to deal with but it is something you will have to deal with and after you kill San Juan Wolf he does 80% of his attack value as damage to your team which he basically just does an attack against you um, which is kind of annoying but uh, as, as time progresses that is going to be more and more damage but for early nav levels it's not going to be a problem and then the final boss versus Blackbeard is a Psy character as we've established and he gives you a full board of empty slots five turns of paralysis, delay immunity, and three turns of resilience. And then when you kill him, he does 30,000 damage to your team, which is obviously quite bad. But of course, you would ideally want to be running this guy as your friend captain. Gecko Moria running him as your friend captain is super ideal because his special ability gives you a full board of matching slots. It gives you the orb boost, and it will also give you the uh, damage threshold effect. So any damage that exceeds 2,000 is only going to do 2,000 damage for that turn. So that's great. Uh, enables you to tank the death hit, okay? But uh, going back to the uh, the earlier stage, we have to deal with the attack down um, against San Juan wolf so we're using uh the, the coliseum neptune to remove that it also gives our cerebral and powerhouse characters a 1.75 orb boost for three turns actually which is pretty good um so we can take multiple turns against uh the san juan wolf there but we typically want to be you know holding off the rest of our specials for uh later fights right because um we obviously have obviously have moria to get rid of those empty slots obviously jesus burgess can get rid of those empty slots as well on the final boss stage um Reiju is also really good because we actually are able to get 
get the conditional boost off. Um, but the main reason why she's there is because of the resilience and the poison can help you remove that resilience against Blackbeard once you get him down to one health. And then of course the paralysis, that's the hardest one to deal with because there is no relatively higher point booster that's driven or powerhouse that removes the paralysis outside of the treasure map units. Um, so this guy's probably going to be your next best bet because he does give a color affinity boost as well to our int characters. So it's pretty good damage and he also removes the paralysis by seven turns. And then San Juan Wolf, he's just a decent unit overall because we need like some someone to do actually good damage towards um, the San Juan Wolf mini boss because that guy, that mini boss on stage two is an int character. So we do need some side damage. So we've got Jinbei for that. We've got our own San Juan Wolf for that. So, you know, again, this is another team that you could potentially pl play around with, but definitely running Mori as the friend captain so that when you actually kill the final boss Blackbeard, you don't just outright die. Uh, you probably will have a lot of health to play with anyway, but remember, you do have to take the mini boss hit from San Juan Wolf on stage two. So taking that and then also the final boss hit, especially in later nav levels, that's going to be kind of difficult, I feel. So having uh, Mori as the friend captain is what I would definitely suggest because again, it will give you more points as well. But uh, with all of that being said, that's the rundown of all of my personal free-to-play teams that I've suggested for this particular treasure map. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. And as I've already said, I will be bringing you guys my own personal video with my teams um, in the next coming days after the Sugo Fest goes live and I do my pulls and stuff. So look forward to that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.